Good morning. Welcome to another day on the homestead here at Hogtown Homestead. I am assessing any further damage from the wind that we may have from yesterday's windstorm. It was gusting up to 36 miles per hour, which is a lot. So I'm coming to check the chickens. Uh, looks like the pigs shelter needs a little bit of a rework. And here's the skeletal remains of our chicken tractor. Hey chickens. What are you doing? What are you doing? They seem to be okay. Our construction netting worked just fine. Oh my gosh. You guys must be thirsty because look what you did to your waterer. Oh, I left that worthless stapler in here too. That staple gun. All right, we got five chickens. They have food. They haven't laid any eggs that I can find yet. Probably because they're stressed out from the move. So I guess they just need some water. Man, I just eyeballed that feeder. How tall it should be. Apparently, I did it right because they can get to their food. All right, chickens, I'll be right back with some water. That's the chickens watered. Man, they were thirsty. That water was filled with all those wood chips because they're still trying to figure out this whole shed living. But that's the chickens taken care of for now. I'll check back and check their food later on. Make sure they're getting fed. But our shed worked, which is great news. Now I'm going to go assess the damage to the mobile pig shelter. All right, walking down to the pig paddock. Oh my goodness. They are starting to do some crazy amounts of disturbance on our pasture. Let me turn the fence off so they stop zapping themselves. They get so excited to see me in the morning that they will continually zap themselves on the electric netting just to see me. Actually, it's just so that they can get food because they've connected me with food. Here we are at the pig paddock. And they have been getting to work on this. Look at all that disturbance, folks. That's awesome. So they probably have one more day on this. And then they got to move. Also, I'm looking at the, at the shelter situation. I want to see if that's something that I need to fix. I don't think so. Well, that came, that part there came undone. So I might need to put some more zip ties on that. But by and large, this fared a lot better than the chicken tractor. All right, I know you're hungry. I know you're hungry. Let's go get you some food. The cool thing about pigs is that they poop and pee in the same spot. So I can walk around all of this without worrying about stepping in pig poop because they choose one spot. And once you find one spot where they've been pooping, which is right here, you can walk around wherever else you want in their paddock and not worry about pig poop on your shoes. Fun fact, that's the pigs fed. They have some uh, performance feed in there, which I think is 18% protein. And then they also have some trail mix in there. So <laughs> you're like you're like the kids stop fighting all right i'm gonna get to work fixing this making sure that it doesn't blow away like the roof of the chicken tractor so i'll show you what i did when i'm done okay that is the pig shelter fixed it's really easy way easier than the chicken tractor um 
all I had to do was resecure two corners and it was good to go. Uh, speaking of the chicken tractor, today I might actually put these chickens back in it. I uh, found another tarp and it might be good just to get them. I would like them to start rotating through where the pigs have been because that was the original goal. The only animal that I have that can even this out is the chickens. Thank you so much for joining us for another day of chores here on Hogtown Homestead. Like and subscribe if you feel so led. Y'all have a good day. Thanks again for watching. See you later.